Let's read The Luckiest St. Patrick's Day Ever. The Luckiest St. Patrick's Day Ever by Teddy Slater. Illustrated by Ethan Long. Top of the morning, it's March 17. The Leprechaun family is wearing the green. St. Patrick's Parade is about to begin. The wee ones are marching. Come on, let's join in. There goes Belilla, leading the clan, arm in arm with Granddaddy Dan. She swings her shellag. They walk and talk gaily, moving as fast as they can. Timothy Shawnessy, handsome and bold, marches along with a big pot of gold. And here comes Aunt Rose, tip-tapping her toes. With shamrock in hand, she follows the band, decked out in her very best clothes. Tootly dee toot, rum a tum tum, Johnny and Jack play the fiddle and drum. They kick up their heels in a wild Irish jig. Everyone's dancing, even the pig. After the march, it's back home for lunch. Mulligan stew and green apple punch. Katie cuts the cabbage, Pat shells the peas, and mischievous children do just as they please. Friends and family keep coming to call, there's plenty of food for one and for all. The Casey's, McGregory's, O'Grady's, Pegfin, everyone's welcome, please, won't you come in? Lassies and ladies stream through the door until there's no room for one color more. The leprechauns crowd round the dining room table, piling their plates as high as they're able. But before they dig in, they have one thing to say. May the luck of the Irish be with you today. Happy St. Patrick's Day! The end!